Hello, everyone, and welcome to Revolutionize Your Practice, Part 1, Boost the Optical Experience. This is our first live panel in a new monthly series focused on advanced technologies, as well as practical tips to help eye care businesses stay ahead and thrive in this new normal. I'm super excited today to introduce today's panel. So first, I'd like to introduce Tia McIntyre. She is the Director of Optical Services of the Marietta Eye Clinic. Hi, Tia. Hello. And then Dr. Douglas King, the practice owner of Family Eye Care Optometry Center. Welcome, Dr. King. Thank you. And then John Vulich, who's the Optical Application Specialist of Luno Technology. So thank you very thank you. much for joining us today. Thanks, John, for being here as well. Thank you. Let's just start out with Tia. Tia, can you please tell us about the Marietta Eye Clinic and what your focus is as the Director of Optical Services? So Marietta Eye Clinic is um, an ophthalmology optometry practice about 30 minutes northwest of Atlanta in um, the suburbs in the ever-growing Atlanta that keeps expanding out. Um, we specialize in a lot of different things. All of our optical locations have dispensaries. And my responsibility is to make sure that um, we wow our patients with excellent service, excellent products, uh, and excellent quality. That's amazing. That's a lot of work. I don't know how you do it. <laughs> so Dr. King, share with us about the Family Eye Care Optometry Center and some of the services your center provides. Okay, we're a small practice in Solving, California, and we it's just my wife and I working together, uh, but we do see a fair amount of people and we stay busy doing so. So we see a lot of medical, we see a lot of optical, and uh, that keeps us busy. I love it. And it's good to have both of you here because it's a, a difference, and yet it's a great way to be able to demonstrate to our viewers exactly how this technology works in both settings. So John, share with us your role as optical application specialist and a little about Luno Technology. So Luno Technology USA, we're part of uh, the Luno Technology group uh, that manufactures the Brio and Waco brands of lens finishing equipment and Visionics diagnostic instruments. Uh, as the optical application specialist, I my focus is working with uh, current customers and potential customers on adding uh, or upgrading lens finishing uh, labs, uh, discussing the advantages of bringing in uh, in office lab uh, work in house versus sending uh, out to the uh, laboratories. Excellent. So, just a note also for our viewers. We're going we're to have about five minutes or so at the end of our interview for your questions. So please feel free to type those into the comment section now or anytime really. And even at the end when we begin the Q&A session and we'll certainly address those. So Dr. King and Tia, and we'll start with Tia, with canceled visits in the recent months, every visit absolutely counts today. So what is your strategy to meet and exceed consumer expectations in this new normal? So we are trying to make every visit to the office an experience, a wow experience for the patients um, by, by making them feel comfortable with our safety protocols, making everyone feel comfortable with um, office procedures and, and just the new normal. And then over an optical in the optical area, making sure everything is just cleaned and sanitized the way a patient would expect it to be. How about you, Dr. King? What, what has changed for you or what is your strategy to meet and exceed consumer expectations? Well, with our basic equipment, we've been uh, cleaning that regularly between each patient, but uh, especially wiping off surfaces now, wearing masks, asking your patients to wear masks when they come into our office. These are, uh, I guess, part of the new normal now. And um, uh, adding, uh, in addition, trying to add new technologies as we can, uh, new services, um, and uh, uh, try to take make each visit a personalized visit. Absolutely. That's awesome. So let's talk a little bit about in-house edging and return on investment. So, John, let's start with you. For our viewers who are thinking about implementing an in-house edging system, 
Can you quantify the cost savings compared to outsourcing these services? <clears throat> so in, as a general rule of thumb, you can uh, take a look at your current lab bills and roughly uh, use a conservative number of 20 to 30% of that lab bill you could save by bringing that work in-house and starting an in-office uh, finishing lab. Wow, that's incredible. So Dr. King, what made you decide to add an optical lab? And in what ways has your Brio contributed to an overall efficiency and boosting the patient experience that you talked about earlier? Uh, I've always had an optical lab. Uh, the equipment I, pr I had prior was uh, outdated and I found myself doing a lot of extra work with um, compared to what I'm doing now. Since I bought the Brio Attitude 2, um, it's basically effortless. It has saved me uh, personally on time. Uh, before I used to come in after hours and stay till sometimes 10, 11, midnight. Wow. Um, and now I can get all my jobs done in a couple hours here at the office and I'm still home for dinner. Uh, in terms of <laughs> cost savings, it helps me with uh, uh, doing more different types of, uh, of jobs that I haven't been able to do in the past. Uh, wrap sunglass frames, uh, drill mounts, uh, groove uh, jobs are effortless and they're easy and very quick. That's incredible. I'm, I'm sure everyone's happy you're home for dinner too. <laughs> <laughs> so Tia, tell me about the, uh, for a multi-location setup like yours, what was the objective for your technology upgrade and what features were you thinking of that really helped you meet those expectations? So uh, as Dr. King was saying, we have optical dispensaries in all of our locations, but we have one centralized lab and we were having patients who wanted to use their own frame uh, drive over to their central lab um, to have the lenses put in their frames and they would wait 30 minutes while the lab would cut them. And in Atlanta traffic, that can be uh, a big piece of time and we have patients who don't see well, so driving around is not ideal. And so one of the things that we wanted to do, we had mechanical edgers before and the equipment was just outdated. Um, you get the lenses in and they may not fit the patient's frame and then we have to reorder and that would upset the patients. So when we upgraded our technology, we were looking for something that was easy to use um, so that there wasn't a lot of training time, something that would allow the patients to continue to just bring their frames in. The optician traces their frame in that location. The order, the lenses are sent over to our central lab. Those are cut to the trace that was done and then sent back. It takes about five minutes for us to put them in the patient's frame. The accuracy is phenomenal. We never have any adjustments that have to be made and the patients are leave happy. So it's a wow experience. That's incredible. How, how long did it take for you guys to put that system in place? So when you start at a new location? Yep. Yeah, so we, we used um, our Brio representatives came in and helped us install the InConnect system and get the tracers um, hooked up. And then we took maybe 10, 15 minutes just to explain to the optician how to use the tracer and how to assign it the job number. And we cut a few uh, test lenses, had them sent back and they fit perfectly. So it was very easy to learn. Incredible. Okay, John, so help us out. What new programs or tools has Luno Technology implemented to support independent eye care practices in this shifting landscape? I mean, we've heard a lot already, this is incredible, but tell us more. So to follow up on Dr. King and Tia, they both have the attitude system. The, what they said is, is terrific. Ease of use is, uh, is of paramount. And uh, we have that in our attitude system. The attitude tracer blocker uh, with built-in lensometry to read the power of single vision lenses, auto detection of bifocal segments, uh, clear uh, recognition of lens engravings for progressive uh, lenses. It makes it very easy to lay out and block lenses to prepare for edging. And it's 
it's very difficult to make a mistake with this system. Very easy to train somebody with limited optical knowledge to get them started in, uh, in operating the edging system. I love it. So thank you, but all of you actually for sharing your experience and insight into more ways that eye care professionals can boost their customer experience in this new normal. We do have a, a question or two that uh, I want to ask the, all of you, though. So let's start with here's a specific for Tia. Can you share specific Brio technologies or features that you found? And you tell me if uh, you know this one applies for you guys. It sounds like you don't really have remakes. But what about the technology can help eye care practitioners reduce remakes? So for us, the um, biggest advantage was the convenience and the experience of the patient. It helped us reduce our turnaround time by a day because yeah. the patients didn't have to call to schedule an appointment to come in the next day. We could get the lenses in, cut them, and send them to our satellite office. And so it, it shaved a day off the turnaround time. I love mm -hmm. that. How about you, John? What would you say is uh, specific about the technology that we have with Brio to be able to help doctors reduce remakes? So the uh, at Tia's uh, uh, practice, they're using in the remote offices um, the uh, Evolution GT Tracer, which is using our Gravitech technology, uh, where you're taking an image of the demo lens or patient's lens from the frame and it eliminates the possibility of a mechanical tracer distorting the frame which can cause problems with your sizing that's why you're getting the accuracy and the low volume of remakes at those offices and all of our equipment incorporates that gravitec technology now and dr king you mentioned how much of a time savings it is so uh Tell us more, what was different specifically and what should we get excited about that's gonna help us reduce the amount of time it takes currently for a person who has an in, in office uh, system already? Uh, well, with my prior system, I would mark down the things I wanted in my new system. <laughs> I had a little note on a wall and if I was making a groove in a lens and if it would, if I would screw up on that, <clears throat> excuse me, it would, uh, I would say, all right, this is, here's a remake that I'd rather not do again. I write that down, uh, drill mounts as, as well, high base curve lenses. The attitude two is the Brio attitude two does it all. And I don't have those remakes anymore. I just, I just push, I just set the settings and I push the button and it does it. And I just pop it right into the frame. So it's been very helpful to reduce remakes in that regard. Um, and I, I, I really enjoyed having it. It's been a good addition to our practice. I love that. So now you go home to dinner on time and the walls repainted. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love now there's it. more right. time for other things, right? Exactly. So another question, as you adapt to our changing environment and shifting consumer expectation, what new technologies have adapted to meet customer demands? That's a question from our audience. So uh, let's go with Dr. King first. Uh, new technologies. Um, I think all of these technologies that we use uh, today are important. Ever since I, I purchased my practice 10 years ago, I feel like I've been in this constant upgrade <laughs> where uh, uh, new technologies are being purchased all the time. So people go, who come from other practices have different experiences. And I, I think if you don't have those technologies, whether it's uh, a, a certain type of retinal camera, OCT, um, uh, or good fast edging service, a good fast lab service, turnaround time for patients, uh, they, they pick up on that. And despite all the challenges that we have in today's market, patient expectation has not changed. It, it, it just continues to go up. So I think continuing to add uh, modern technologies um, to meet those high expectations are paramount. Yeah, you guys bring up a good point. I, I have found in my practice too, that time is of the essence to everyone it hasn't changed in any way other than that they're less wanting to uh, spend lots of time in the practice. So this technology is amazing in that. 
Anything else to you that you'd like to add before we uh, close for today? Yeah, I mean, as Dr. King said, it's, you know, patient expectation is still the same and, and it's a high, it's a high bar. So it's up to us to raise the level of our service, um, our technology, the quality of our products to meet those expectations. Um, the, the faster turnaround time, the more convenient um, ways for patients to purchase from us, you know, it's up to us to take away those obstacles to, to make it easy to do business with. And that's, what's going to satisfy our patients. Absolutely. So John, one more, I want to throw back at you. Okay. In sure. what ways does Leno Technologies Brio finishing system make it easier to train your staff? <clears throat> all of our systems uh, from the attitude all the way down to our perception two systems are very straightforward in terms of operations. When we initially come in to train, we allot uh, a full day for training time for personnel. Um, it's so easy to operate and questions can be answered via phone support. And now remotely, we can do uh, uh, video chats to help with uh, training as well. But it's very easy to pick up and learn. That is awesome. Thank you all for uh, helping us today to uh, learn about these new technologies. And for our audience, remember that next month we will be back for another live panel discussion sponsored by Leno Technology, the title of which is Revolutionize Your Practice Part 2, Digital Transformation. So mark your calendars for September 17 at 1.30 Eastern time. And for more information about the technologies discussed today or to book a complimentary ROI consultation, you can see going along the bottom of the screen, lunotechusa.com forward slash revolutionize. So thank you again. Thank you, Tia, Dr. King and John. We appreciate you being here today with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.